right, here we are with Paul Moret. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Nice to Thank meet you. you. <laughs> Paul, is he, he didn't write this book. He illustrated it. He drew all the fabulous pictures for it. It's called The Mud Family. Here's some mud creatures that I Paul made. I made the mud people. <laughs> and the music that you hear in the background was actually, was that composed by yeah, you? Yeah, I, I did it this morning, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and now this book won a Governor General's Award. Actually, a previous book, an African book called The Orphan Boy, won the Governor General's Award. Uh, but this is what this one is just brand new out, so you never know. Great. Now, how do you <laughs> get, how did you get into all this artistry work? I'll show one of your um, pictures as you explain. Well, I really like traveling. I, I spend a lot of time traveling all around the world. And so usually the projects I take on are ethnic folk tales. Like this uh, one. And I usually travel to the location and spend a few months doing research okay. uh, in the case of Africa, China for previous books. In this case, I went down to the southwest, so Arizona, New Mexico, did a lot of research on the Anasazi and visited some of the cliff dwellings and wow. then built that right into the structure wow, of the book. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at all that. Gorgeous. Now, are you, are you drawing these in full when you get back? Uh, yeah, I do some location sketching and sometimes I'm painting on site, but generally I redo them in my studio at home. That's <laughs> come back to Canada and recreate these beautiful These are places. terrific. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're kind of fun. How hard is this it to make so the mud people? Well, I gave myself a limit of uh, about 15 minutes on each one. Wow. And I just based them on uh, sort of petroglyphs you can find down there. And I just wanted to stylize them so that we had interesting characters. It's a lot easier for me to make them like this to paint them repeatedly than if I just, you know, drew them out of, out of the top of my head. So well, Paul actually brought another one. So after Touch TV, <laughs> we'll come back and, and we'll show you his other gorgeous Is that okay with you? Yeah, sounds great. Okay, let's right. watch Touch TV right now. <laughs> okay. Back with Paul. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we saw this beautiful picture that Paul had done for the Mud family, yes? Yeah? Very nice. <laughs> And this was telling the story that continues with another photo, right? Let's yeah. look at that one. Okay. Now, what's happening here? You made that. This is at the very end of the story, and because the mud people were successful in bringing rains, the family's gone to the back wall of the cave, and they're just leaving their handprints. Wow. Look at that. And That's what are those great. handprints called? Well, those are pictographs, essentially. And uh, when I was there, I was, like, going to all these incredible rooms, sort of like that one there. And... Um, in the back of one of the rooms I had visited in southern Utah, there was actually a child's handprints, literally, oh, right? Wow. I, mean, I mean, this is a thousand years old. It was just gorgeous. That's it's amazing. Great. So things like that. And actually, that same site influenced the writer uh, who wrote the story, too. How difficult is pictures? it to write or to make pictures for someone else's story? Well, the first thing I have to do is by, like, going to the place and researching it a lot, it, it builds an enthusiasm within me. I also compose music to get in the mood. So I, I have all kinds of triggers that sort of time you write to the text and I get into the story enough that it's pretty easy actually. And that point. music is actually yours, right? It was yeah, here. I just did this this morning <laughs> <laughs> for Terrific. TVO kids. Well, we'll <laughs> show you all these books later that Paul uh, took part in, but we'd like to thank you for coming. You have, you have to come pleasure. back, okay? Okay, I shall. Thank Thanks. you, Paul. Bye-bye. <laughs>